Hello friends! Is your car overheating, or maybe the cooling fan just isn't turning on? If your scanner shows code P0485, this means there's a problem with the cooling fan power circuit, which could lead to engine overheating and honestly some pretty severe damage. In this video I'll explain what P0485 means, its symptoms, sensor locations and how to fix it, so let's get started. So what exactly is P0485? Well, the P0485 code stands for Cooling Fan Power or Ground Circuit Malfunction. This means the Engine Control Module or ECM has detected an issue in the power supply or ground circuit of the cooling fan system. Ignoring this issue can lead to engine overheating, poor AC performance, and even complete engine failure. Common symptoms of P0485 include the check engine light turning on, the cooling fan not working or running continuously, engine overheating especially in slow traffic, the AC not cooling properly, and sometimes a blown fuse or even a burnt wiring smell near the fan. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's really important to fix the issue immediately to prevent some costly engine damage. Now let's talk about where you can find the sensors and components you'll need to check. To diagnose P0485, you'll want to locate these key components. First, the cooling fan relay. This is usually inside the fuse or relay box, which is typically under the hood near the radiator or the fender. Next, the cooling fan motor is mounted directly on the radiator. The engine coolant temperature sensor or ECTS is typically found on the thermostat housing or near the cylinder head. The powertrain control module, sometimes called the PCM or ECM, is usually mounted on the firewall or under the dashboard. And finally, the wiring harness and connectors run between the fan motor, relay, ECM, and temperature sensor. Here's a quick tip. If your car has dual cooling fans, make sure you check both motors and both relays. Sometimes the problem can be with just one of them, so you know, don't overlook the second fan. Alright, so, let's talk about the most common reasons you might see a P0485 code pop up. First, a blown fuse in the fan circuit, yeah, a power surge or short circuit can totally blow the fuse. Next, a faulty cooling fan relay. If the relay is broken, it can disrupt the power supply. Third, burnt or disconnected wiring. Damaged wires can easily break the circuit, causing all sorts of trouble. Fourth, a bad cooling fan motor. A failing motor just might not receive or draw enough power to do its job. Fifth, a faulty engine coolant temperature sensor, or ECTS. If this sensor gives incorrect readings, it can prevent the fan from turning on at all. And finally, if everything else checks out, you might be looking at a PCM or ECM issue. A faulty ECM may not be activating the fan circuit properly. So, how do you actually fix a P0485 code? Well, first use an OBD2 scanner to confirm the code. Next, check the fuses. Look for blown fuses in the fuse box and replace them if needed. After that, inspect the cooling fan relay. You can swap it with a similar relay to see if it's working right. Then, test the cooling fan motor by applying 12 volts directly to see if it runs properly. Don't forget to inspect the wiring and connectors. Make sure to repair any damaged wires or loose connections. Also, test the engine coolant temperature sensor and replace it if it turns out to be faulty. Finally, clear the code and take your car for a test drive to see if the issues resolved. So, just to sum it up, the P0485 code is usually caused by a blown fuse, a faulty relay, a wiring issue, or a bad cooling fan motor. Fixing it will help you prevent overheating, improve your engine's performance, and protect your vehicle in the long run. And hey, for more car troubleshooting guides, check out these videos next. P0238, Turbocharger Boost Sensor, A Circuit High, and P0239, Turbocharger Boost Sensor B Circuit High. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to IG Garage for more car repair tips. Thanks for watching.